back to our channel. Halloween day uh, very very different to a Filipino uh, Halloween tradition so American actually uh, prepare for Halloween like costumes and chocolates and Filipino also prepare for Halloween by cooking some uh, sticky rice and some other stuff that can family have later in the cemetery and while they're visiting so that's the time that people gather in the Philippines and that's where we eat we share food for people who visit and and light candle on our loved ones so not like in America that they will just gonna wear a costume and then give away candy so very 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 different because in the Philippines uh, we actually do spend time in the cemetery we put the canopy in there uh, uh, a whole family will be there to visit and we will gonna have a little dinner in there in the cemetery with uh, or dessert that we made like we always make a sticky rice recipe on a Halloween so very very different so right now we put our chocolate basket it's on the, it's on the front porch yeah. not the front porch but in the foyer so yeah as I said it's very very different tradition of, of American and Filipino tradition it's very very different so this is our candy bowl candy bowl or candy basket that's full of different kind of chocolates and candy so that's what we have and later maybe dark they will start well little kids generally start early but i was just talking to the neighbor this is our first halloween in this house yeah and oh yeah this is our first Halloween. so in this house. you have you have three things going on one you have covid so a lot of parents are boycotting halloween right because they, they don't think it's safe um, two, in our neighborhood, we do not have a lot of little children. Right. Okay. So usually, like Halloween starts at like four. Kids start trick or treating at four, and it's about four thirty. Yeah. So, you know, we don't have a lot of little kids in this area. Mm -hmm. And then, and most of the older ones kind of wait until dark around like five thirty six to start. And then, the neighbor told me that they only get usually about ten or twelve. Oh. So not very many in this neighborhood. Oh. One, because yeah. we're not really in a rich, rich neighborhood and a lot of people yeah. don't participate. Yeah. So we turned our light on. They have their light lights on over there, all three oh, houses Oh, they over do? There. Yeah. That's and nice. So course, yeah, later you will see a kids wearing a costume and uh, say uh, trick or treats. And yeah, if you didn't have a treats for them, they will play a trick on you. Some people or some kids does they will yes. gonna they will gonna vandalize your house or they will gonna ruin your decoration outside. So you better have a candy at they home. Smash your pumpkins, put toilet paper in your tree, eggs <laughs> into your house or your cars. Yeah. So in the in in the Philippines, we just go to the cemetery and sit there and kids don't really go somewhere else and ask for candy. We don't. And some some kids probably, yeah, they do with their, if they're very, very in a rich area, you know. But yeah, as I'm growing up, I remember like uh, if your mom don't have something on November 1st, you get a coconut shell 
an empty coconut shell and then you go houses houses and uh, and you knock on their door and you show them your empty coconut shell and then we put a sticky rice on it now, that's okay. what we get now, now when i was in the philippines you guys call this the burr months so uh -huh. on halloween i had kids trying to do christmas carols for money at my house <laughs> especially in cebu when i had a, when i lived in a subdivision yeah. in cebu kids would try to knock on my door singing Christmas carols. It really took me out of the Halloween mood. I was irritated. Because <laughs> in the Philippines, uh, we start caroling. Uh, we, we go houses to houses and we sing for them. And then they will give us like money after we sing. And then it started September. Because we have to gather uh, money. Or, uh, and then later, before Christmas, we will gonna divide it on how many people in the group. So that's why it's kind of like, you know, it's bear month and then we put Christmas tree already on September. And then, you know, even it's uh, Halloween is not over yet. So anyway, so we will gonna see you later if we will have a trick or trickers here. Trick or treaters. <laughs> Here are kids that are uh, gonna knock on their on our door. All right, see you later. so cute and you know they're so happy to choose the candy they want but you know every, we only had four kids that showed up in our house so we tried our best to put more on their bag and because you know we know already that there's not so many kids that were gonna do the trick or treat so yeah we did put lots of put lots of chocolates on their backs and we still have lots of plenty that left 
uh, we still have like six bags of uh, uh, chocolates that's not open yet so I guess we gotta eat it <laughs> so oh well so that's it for today's vlog and I hope you like our video share and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you will be up updated for our new vlog always so happy Halloween and thank you for supporting us all the time Setting sun approaches for